Vince, maybe it's not as high as expected. It's not as high as expected. Max Aaron. Somehow, some way, Max Aaron, who is the athlete, he's worked on that artistic side so hard the last few years. He's talked about it with everybody who will ask him about it, and he keeps getting asked about it. But on the ice right now, trying to follow a man who just did four quads, 23 years of age, from Scottsdale, Arizona, and the champion back in 2000. 13, the favorite, you'd have to say, coming in. It can't be easy skating after that, hearing those marks. He has two quads planned, a quad triple. He definitely needs this. Soaring quads out, triple toe. There's no margin of error here, right? No. Oh, Axel, double toe. Again, he seems so focused, so prepared this season. He's just going out and doing his job. There, of course, has been a lot made of Max's inefficiencies as far as artistry is concerned. But Tara and I were talking about it earlier. And we would put up any of the men's skating skills and abilities against Max's, and Max would have it all over them. Beautiful edge work and speed. speed. And this program is packaged well because it's music that may not suit him, but this audience knows. And if he's skating well and they feel that, they'll get behind this performance and the music. It was a smart choice in that way. I said, what goes wrong when you start missing those jumps? And he says, I drift. That is my biggest mistake I make. He goes, trying to find that zone is so difficult. But when I'm in it, I'm on. And I think that's what we're seeing today. Taking his rest before his second quad after the halfway point. 10% bonus. Really needs this. Moving so fast into this. Stunning. But still, it's a triple axle second half bonus. Sequence here, triple Lutz. He was hoping for a triple Sao Cal on the end of that. With Nathan's technical score, he needs every point he can get. Final double axel.
Well, he answered Nathan's program. Technically not as strong, but overall he's a stronger skater. His jumps have more power. They're explosive. He did make a mistake on the sequence. I wonder how this will all add up. What's funny is that he could beat Nathan Chen, but on the artistic side. Bit of irony. Super irony. I mean, to be beaten at your own game, which is the technical side, which is what everyone talks about with Max Aaron, and to beat a four quad free program for Nathan Chen on the artistic side of things. It <laughs> Especially for Max, who's been trying to change that perception for so long. Like you said, Johnny, I think he is so brave for skating to Black Swan. He's like a Plushenko or an Elvis Stoiko, where they were always criticized for their style, but they made it work, and I think Max is in that process, making it work. This was, it was a very smart choice, but a swan, he is not. A great technical athlete, yes. Former hockey player trying to prove he's an artist, come down to those program components. He had a five and a half point lead after the short over Nathan Chen. Opening quad style, triple toe, huge point getter for him. Really gets down into the ice on nervous knees and nails it. That does have more power than a Nathan quad, in my opinion, and he was rewarded for that with his grade of execution right here. This combination, the sequence, he needed a triple on the end. That would have helped him even more to attack Nathan's technical score. What's your sense? I think it's going to be Max. Yes, I'm not sure they're ready for Nathan yet. His free skate score. Some statement. 177.7. Yep, he did it. Needed 175.11, he just heard, 177 plus. But Nathan beat him in the free skate place. You kind of heard the rumble inside XL Energy Center and the surprise. The judging at this championship has been very suspect, and it is figure skating, it is subjective, but there is a long wait on some of these scores putting people where they think they should be. So it is exactly. Max Aaron on top and Nathan Chen, Grant Hochstein, and we're down.